YouTubers, subscribers, and friends, welcome to my channel. It is 8.20 a.m. in the morning. It is about 83 degrees. Uh, feels a little bit cool out. Uh, I am tired, wore out, man. This, uh, these jobs right here are kicking my butt, even though every day I'm doing something physical. Hammering these things in on this ground was so hard yesterday. And, uh, biker dude gave me a good idea, but... I wish you would have told me earlier about putting concrete down this pole because it's hollow and these are glued in already so I can't do it but uh, I got these straps holding this side is not as wiggly see it's not as wiggly as this side it's supported the door opens fine it's just this top part is not supported so I'm going to put straps here today and screw them into the thing to keep this from wiggling because it doesn't wiggle down there as much but uh, <clears throat> this concrete is in there pretty good I didn't concrete underneath the blocks because I just don't didn't want to I like putting concrete in there uh, I might fill those up with gravel at another time but uh, I'm definitely gonna have a gap right here because that polycarbonate is going to be here I don't know if I should put a piece of wood here and screw it to there I have no idea I don't draw out any plans or anything when I do this kind of stuff but uh, waiting on taking my daughter to school my son is sick this morning he went to a birthday swimming pool birthday party now he's sick and uh, well yeah when you stand out in the sun you feel that sun on your head oh man it's hot so that's uh this is gonna be my project this morning putting up this polycarbonate and the wood there. I don't know how hard it's going to be doing this myself because they're 12 feet long and this is just like just a little 11 feet. I'm going to have to figure out how to cut this polycarbonate because I don't even know if I can cut it. We'll see. That's what I'm doing today. Everybody that watches my videos they know what I do every day so to the people watching my videos uh, you guys know what my name is. My name is Marco. Yeah, I mean, if you're new to my channel, you might not know. My name is Marco, but my my everybody that knows me calls me Bat because I love Batman stuff. Batman and Star Wars stuff. I like Spider-Man too. Oh, I like all kinds of Marvel stuff. But Batman is my favorite. I got pictures of me as a baby in diapers with a Batman t-shirt on and stuff. So my parents are the ones seated the Batman thing. Just like all my kids, when they were kids, they had baby uh, Batman t-shirts on and stuff like that, too. So, this is what my process is. Uh, when I went to Home Depot, they still did not have the drain pipe uh, thing there. Uh, they had the drain pipe. They didn't have the thingy there. I'm going to have to figure out, you know. I went to two different Home Depots, and they, they don't have it. I don't know why. They got everything but that connection to where you can hook a drain pipe to it. But I'm not worried about raining too much because once monsoon season is over, we very rarely get any rain. And if we do, it's like a drizzle rain. But uh, I got my tire in there too. I'm going to stop after I drop off with my daughter at the bus stop. I'm going to stop at the used tire place and see if that guy can switch the tire onto the ram for me because I don't like that stock wheel. But uh, all this is level, although this doesn't look level because I got dirt pushed up there it's all level and though I'm not a masonry I do dabble a bit with masonry <laughs> I dabble a bit with everything so uh, going back to what I was saying uh, you all know what my name is and what I do every day because you watch my videos every day I'm curious the people who watch my videos what are, what are your guys' name where do you live and what do you guys do uh, when I'm not doing projects like this there's days that I go out and I have a cleaning business, cleaning backslash uh, personal assistant business. I don't I don't work eight ten hour days like I used to years. Yeah, you know, man, it's been about thirty years since I've had a job like that. I've tried the corporate business, suit and tie stuff. It's just not for me. I enjoy working for myself, and I'm at the age now, fifty three, to where I figured out that I don't do very well working at a job. I don't take crap from people and I went into a job one time my wife hates it when I when I 
quit jobs because I don't, I don't even tell her. I just quit. I go into the job and I say, hey, man, you're five minutes late. Really? Watch how late I am tomorrow and never show up again. So, oh, you locked the door? Good thing I got the keys in my pocket. Yeah, lock it. Yeah. My daughter scared the crap out of me. I thought she locked us out of the house, but I got my keys. So, yeah, I don't do good working for other people, especially if they're really, really young and then they're trying to tell me how to do a job that I know how to do. I just, I don't, I work best by myself, for myself. And I've learned that uh, you'll never get rich working for anybody else. So let me know what you do in the comments below if you want to. Uh, where you live, what part of the country, what part of the world you're from. And uh, that way I get to know my viewers more. I, I gotta take my daughter to the bus stop now. Well, there you go. Nice looking tire. I'll get around to putting that on here in a day or so. I'm not in a rush. That's a good spare for right now. This one, uh, you, have to, you have to take the tire with you unless you want to pay a $5 fee for him keeping your old tire. I'll just throw that away tomorrow in the trash can. And the recycling, recycling bin. Man, the mosquitoes, oh man, just ate me up. I'm itching like crazy. This is looking nice though. I gotta put it up here so I can slide it around. I don't feel like crawling around under my van. All right, now I gotta uh, decide on what I'm going to do first. Maybe, I think, get that wood put in first. I think that'd be the hardest of the two to do. It's getting awfully breezy here right now. Is that wind picking up? I gotta go scrub these mosquito bites with some anti-itch lotion for my cat. She loves it because I, I leave the door open when I'm home so she can sit right by the screen. I just gotta screw this in, but I just wanna test fit it, cut it out where the bolts are gonna go, and now screw screws into here. I'm gonna go paint these really quick, and the tops my wife forgot. So it's almost 10.30, and I'm working on the the gate. Everybody's talking about the eclipse on the sun. They said in a few more minutes it's going to be a total eclipse. I don't see anything going on. Hey, got this all secured. This is not moving at all. This thing is completely done. Now I just got to put the wood down there in the bottom. This is secured. Nice security gate. Boom. All right, got this one done, secured. That'll keep any critters or varmints out. That's secured. They're talking about the eclipse on the radio. But it's nice gate. Now I gotta work on that. All right, I'm gonna attempt to cut this three feet right here. Let's see how it turns out for this section here. I got them cut in three foot sections. I only need three. Got an extra one uh, left over. I'm gonna test them over here now. All right, so I measured and cut this wood to this length here, attached it to the tiny house, and now I'm going to attach these to the poles here. And you can see it's fit. I might screw that into the wood. I want to leave this a little bit long here. Cause I think I'm gonna put a piece of wood down here in the bottom also. But uh, that's what I'm working on now. Okie dokie, this plumber's tape comes in pretty handy. I cut out a piece here, blocked off this little gap there, put some plumber's tape. I don't know what my dogs are barking at. And then I chipped off a piece of wood. There's a little bitty piece here, fits perfectly, nice tight and snug in there. So that's going to block this off so no critters can get in through there. Now I'm going to put this on. As soon as I see where my dogs are barking at. What are you barking at? Barking at 
doesn't even know. He you can't even see. Only Josie sees. What do you see, Josie? Ah. Oh. That's that pit bulldog. Two dogs. Oh, I know. Three dogs. Oh, those dogs are from across the street. Those are nice dogs. Especially that little black one. That white one is the old one. He's always coming over here. That one right there. Those are nice dogs. Go home. You guys keep getting out. Josie, no. No, Josie. Hey. Go home. Go. Go home. They pretty much, they usually listen. Go home. Go. Go home. Go. Go home. Owners, your dogs are over here. They're going to get hit. That little black one almost got hit by a car the other day. Those are nice, nice dogs. Look, he can't even see us. It's pissing him off. He's just getting excited because Josie's getting excited. Josie can jump that wall if she wanted to. I guess she's just getting too old. All right, I got the little part done here. It's not too hard. It's just uh, trying to get them things level, but looks pretty good to me. I might cut that. I might not. I don't know yet. We'll see. All right, just cut the first 12 foot length one. I hope that's the right cut because you can only cut once. Time to put it up. Okay, getting kind of a test fit. That Miss Ocean Miss Green looks good with that. Where I had these sitting over there last night, we must have had a freaking windstorm because these things were just covered with dirt. Just getting a test fit here. I don't know. I had it overhanging here. I didn't like it. I think I'm going to get some kind of tape and just tape this corner together here. So I don't really like how this this stuff looks like this. this I mean, it's just... Just test fitting, just getting a look how it sits. It's level, but it, it doesn't look level because the dirt is uneven down here. So when you look from here, it doesn't look too level. But just getting a preview. Out. I just I got it held in with that gorilla tape, the duct tape, just holding it there. I don't know. I wish I could have bent it. We'll see. We'll get it all together and then I'll figure out how I'm going to fix this later. I don't know what I can put there. That's what I'm working with. It's looking pretty good so far. Let's get a look from way over here how it's going to look. Had the la landlord lady there. She came and she stopped. She was just sitting here just watching me what I was doing. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It's kind of you can see it's kind of bubble though because it's not connected. You can see the pulls through that polycarbonate too. It's a good thing I painted that ocean mist, that white. <laughs> All right, well, time to get it put together. That's what the second row looks like. It's time for lunch. I can't believe how long. This is taking, working by myself, it is 1.12 p.m. and it's lunchtime. My wife just got home, brought me some Burger King. Let's see what this looks like on the other side. It's blinding, it's like snow blind. But uh, looking good. Just got one more row to do. And I'm done. I figure out how to block that down there, that little gap. I put a, a little piece, cut it a little bit bigger, and then I bent it and then shoved it in there and it expands it and it like locks in. So nothing can get into that. I got a gap down here that's, uh, I'm going to have to block from this side with like some pavers or something, bricks. Put something along here so nothing can get under there. But uh, it's lunchtime, so 
Time to go eat. 1.30 in the afternoon. It's 105. I'm having a Burger King, Bacon King, Bacon Burger, and some fries and a blueberry pie. It smells delicious, and I am starving. My goodness, that King Burger, Bacon King, is a huge burger. Took me a half an hour to eat. What do you want? Huh? You want to go to the tiny house? She likes to go to the tiny house. All right, so back to work. I gotta walk around, man. Whew, man, I feel bloated. That is one huge bacon burger. All right, I got one more to put up. I got my wife here to help me. Let me get some screws because here's what I've come up with. I got all these extra pieces here. I want to take uh, something like this. And for this corner, put something like this right here, but bend it. Like this, and then screw it to that. Bend it and screw it to this side. And then do it all the way up. Just to get rid of that ugliness. I think that'll work. I'm glad my wife's here because this second level was a little bit hard to do. Oh, I gotta do this one before. I move this one and this over here. Right here. Because it don't it vibrates when the wind blows. Whew man, I need to walk around a little bit. You ready? Yeah, I thought you were gonna cut it. Oh, I'm waiting on you. <laughs> She's waiting on me, I'm waiting on her. I just want to go see what this looks like over here. Been here several days since I've painted it. Yep, still looking good. Alright, back to work. Let me get going on the last project, the last one. Open the gate and I let the girls come in here because it's all closed off. They think it's some kind of trap. Brownie's scared to leave this gate. What's the matter, girls? You don't want to come to the new spot? Huh? What's wrong? Is this scaredy cat? Is this scaredy cat? Huh? You don't like the new area? Look, you can go over there. Come on. It's okay. Come on. She thinks she's going to go for a walk. There you go. Privacy uh, door wall is done. Security gate is done. Josie thinks she's going for a walk. Oh, girl. Come on. Come over here. This one's done. This is all nice and shady. This is Jerry's favorite spot because it's really cool right here. You got a breeze coming in here, like circular breeze comes right through here. What is it, girl? Huh? It's new, huh? This is the area where we take it for a walk, we come out, we come this way, but it's closed off. She's like, what is going on here? What is this? Brownie's scared to come out. She is such a scaredy cat. Look at her. Brownie, come here, girl. Come on, Brownie. Come on, Brandy. Come on. Come on, Brandy. Come on, girl. Come on. Don't be such a scaredy cat. Come on. She looks like a mean dog, but she's, she's the biggest scaredy cat. Come here. Come here. Come on. Yeah, Josie, give me kisses. Josie, give me kisses. Okay. Hey, you still smell nice from that shower. Come on, go walk around. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty, ready. Okay, enough kisses already. Hmm? Did you want to get kisses too? It's nice and shady over here. Go on, go walk around, go look. I can't believe how long this took to do this privacy wall. I mean, I have to go out and in, out and in to run the wire through and bring it back through. Exploring that area. That's what it looks like. Now I gotta get some real white paint. I told my wife, you pick out the paint and I'll paint it. Because all these black wires here, but she thinks it's a door. Oh, no, you can't go out. I gotta paint over all these wires here. I gotta fasten to the tiny house too. I got a wood, a board there, and then I, I got this fastened to the board. I got that sealed off down there so no craters, nothing can come in. I got this board screwed to this, and then my wife's got this here. I, I told her to fill that with gravel, and she puts a board here because. You can go down and come up on the other side. There's a little gap, but she wants to put this here for now. But 
it's pretty sturdy. It's not going to go anywhere. Pretty solid. It's not, this is not going to be a security security door, but it's, you know, it's a privacy courtyard. Nice courtyard. You know, that we can lock and unlock. And we have the key. Hey, 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 hey. No, no, you're not going anywhere. The same key if it's a tiny house fits this. So let's take a look from the long shot. We can let the girls there at night. Such scaredy cats. And we'll see, uh, man, that tree looks like it fell over even more. I don't remember this root being out like this. Fall over already. There you go. There's the long shot. The only thing that isn't level is the, the gazebo. It's, the deck is slanted, like I said before, so the rain can run that way. But that wall is level. That wall is level. That little thing in the middle there, I need to drill a hole and wire those two together. It's like a little gap. I don't know, when the wind blows, it pops it out. But uh, there you go, privacy. It's back all the way up to the far out easement driveway where Mrs. Kravitz can't see. Looks pretty cool if you ask me. Just need to paint those trash cans white. Or maybe ocean mist. Looking good. Now I just need to get rid of that tree. I can get rid of that tree now because that's no longer a worry about privacy now because of that. You can't even see through the security gate there. And uh, it provides shade too. It wasn't a hard job and wasn't an easy job, but it just took forever. Look how dark I've got. My wife's like, oh my God, you've gotten so dark. Back of your neck is all freaking dark brown. I tan easily, but if I stay out of the sun, it goes away. Here's what I did at the corner here. I got the leftover pieces that I cut off that instead of going this way, I just put them straight up and down. And then I bent them and screwed them on that side, just bent them around to get rid of that ugliness. I think I cleaned it up nice. I didn't go all the way to the tippy top. I think that's good enough. But uh, I'll get some white paint and spray paint that little black wire. Won't even tell. I guarantee I'll let my wife pick up the white. But there you have it, the tiny house front courtyard privacy panel wall is finished and uh, it's almost four o'clock I got to go pick up my daughter because my son didn't go to school today so I'm gonna end the video here like always remember to like leave me a comment if you haven't subscribed already click on that subscribe button it don't cost you anything it's free and like always thank you for taking the time to watch my videos and interact with me. I didn't see no eclipse today. Let's get a shot of this back one really quick. It's from this side. Boom. All closed in courtyard for the tiny house. Hello.